It's traveled over 4,000 kilometers and visited over 100 Canadian communities, chugging its way from coast to coast and causing all those that journey on board to walk down memory lane. The Grey Cup train has been slowly making its way across the country, sharing the excitement of this 100th Grey Cup anniversary. We caught up with the portable museum of sorts on one of its last stops on the tour, Hamilton, Ontario, where many turned out at Bayfront Park for the historic tour and of course to catch a glimpse of the guest of honour. I can officially say, if you follow them, all aboard! Our team really, you know, the team in the CFL office, we sat down about two years ago and we said, how do we pay respect to the 100th Grey Cup? Uh, you know, we thought about uh, doing a football toss across the country or run a football across Canada, but then we said, you know, the Grey Cup, people want to touch it, they want to kiss it, they want to hold it. Uh, so the, no better way of bringing it across the country than by train. The Grey Cup was donated by Lord Earl Grey, the Governor General of Canada, in 1909. Back then, the cup was awarded to the team that won the Rugby Football Championship of Canada. Among those names etched on the cup is CFL alumni and former Hamilton Ticats fullback, Willie Bathia. It's the first time I've seen it, and uh, it's quite uh, historic. And I think we'll get a lot more people for the next couple of days. The people Bathia speaks of are the die-hard CFL fans who have come out in droves throughout the whole tour to snuggle up close to the cup and pay homage to one of the oldest games in Canadian history. Fans like Dave and Reese Kissel, father and son, wouldn't miss an opportunity like this for anything. I don't think you'd ever get another opportunity to do that, right? I mean, we'll never get to touch it on a field of play, so, you know, it's a great opportunity with the train coming through. Everybody loves trains, everybody loves the Grey Cup, so uh, you can't miss it. It's pretty cool. You're never going to see it again. And it's the 100th anniversary of the Grey Cup. How important is that? Uh, you know what? It's hugely important. I mean, it shows how what type of longevity the league has, and uh, you know, it's as much a part of Canadian culture as hockey is, and anything else, right? So, it's I think it's hugely important. The transformed Via train is jam-packed with memorable moments and memorabilia from some of the CFL's greatest players. But it's the emotion and the stories that encourage the commissioner and his staff as they have the chance to meet Canadians impacted over the years by the sport. Yeah, there really is that emotion, you know, from individuals. And I remember meeting uh, the season, the longest holding season ticket holders in Edmonton since 1949. You know, they came on the train, I was talking to them, they said they even went out of their wedding ceremony to watch the game. Uh, so uh, people just come on the train and they recall their stories, you know, whether it's going to the Grey Cup with their friends year after year or meeting and falling in love and getting married at Grey Cups. Uh, there was a beautiful story about a uh, couple uh, from Toronto who did that, went on their first date to a Grey Cup at Varsity Stadium. So there's all these neat stories that people are telling, and I think when they come on the train, those memories sort of uh, come back to them. And as the tour winds down and the 100th winner of the Grey Cup will soon be declared, Kohan says it's all about celebrating the achievements of the past looking towards the future. I think it's important that we celebrate milestones as a country, uh, whether that's the War of 1812 that's going on now um, or the Grey Cup. And I think uh, for us to do that in a world where, you know, where, you know my kids are probably going to end up working in India or China or Brazil, uh, it's important to reflect on things that make us Canadians. And I think Grey Cup does that. The Grey Cup Tour will end in Toronto, where all things CFL will be this year for the 100th anniversary and the big Grey Cup game. In Hamilton, Ontario, Magdalene John, 100 Huntley Street.